What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So iOS 13 beta 2 is available for everybody to install at this point as we can now install a profile that's going to allow us to download and install iOS 13 beta 2 OTA or over the air. So this is super exciting. For those of you that want to check out iOS 13, you can do so now. A uh, bit of a disclaimer, keep in mind, it is still in beta, so it's probably going to be a bit buggy yet. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And also, I want to add, if you guys are interested in jailbreaking your device, I would recommend not doing this. I would recommend you to stay on the lowest firmware possible if you want a jailbreak. Um, my 10s Max is going to stay on iOS 12. It's going to stay jailbroken because, in my opinion, a jailbreak is much more powerful than the newest version of iOS. So the daily phone is stay, staying jailbroken on iOS 12. So like I said, guys, if you guys want a jailbreak, do not update to this. Stay on the lowest firmware possible. But anyways, let's get into the tutorial. It's really quite simple. All we're going to do is jump into Safari. I will leave the link for this down in the description. Go ahead and click on the download button there. And it's going to want to install a configuration. Click on allow. And then as you can see right here, review the profile in settings. So click on close. We'll exit out of Safari. Now we can go into settings. Scroll down until you see general. Scroll down again until you see profile. And then there is the profile for iOS 13. Go ahead and select on that. Click on install. Input your passcode if you have one set up. Go ahead and click on install again and install one more time at the bottom. And now it will require our device to restart. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I will be back once it's done rebooting. Alrighty, my device is done restarting. Let's go ahead and unlock to get into it. Now we're gonna go back into the settings application and then we can go into general again and then we can go into software update. And as you can see, there is iOS 13 beta two. I'm gonna go ahead and just screenshot that so I have it if I need it. And uh, as you can see, it is now automatically downloading it onto my device. As you can see, it just started there. Um, it didn't allow me to choose to download it, which is kind of weird. I guess it's just gonna auto do it. Um, as you can see, it's gonna be a bit of time until this is done downloading. It really depends on your internet speed and also the servers and a bunch of other stuff. So this could take a while, guys. Keep that in mind, it's gonna download the entire software. Uh, so it will take a bit and I'll be back once it's all done. Alrighty, iOS 13 beta 2 is finally done downloading and installing onto the 7 Plus. That took quite a while. I'm sure you guys could probably tell by looking at the clock here on this iPhone in comparison to the cut before this. I think it took about, about an hour or so. It took forever. But anyways, if we go into settings here, we go into general, we go into about. As you guys can see, we are on iOS 13 on the 7 Plus, so that is super, super exciting. Uh, and that's basically how you guys are going to get iOS 13 beta uh, onto your device. Now keep in mind, as new versions of this beta are pushed out to the public, all you'll have to do is go into General and Software Update, and the updates will be there uh, and available for you to install. You won't have to install this profile like every time. Uh, it'll just be simple updates from here on out. And of course you can downgrade uh, you know, from iOS 13 back to iOS 12. I'll probably make a tutorial on how you guys can do that. Uh, once I make that tutorial, I'll put a video link for it in the description so you guys can see how to downgrade if you want to. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.